there are a lot of cartoonish things about Donald Trump. His big ego. People love me. His big hair. They attack my hair. And his big ideas. We will build a great wall along the southern border. Mexicans scoff at the idea of building that wall, but they've dedicated a wall to him. In fact, several walls at Mexico City's Caricature Museum. It's plastered with cartoons making fun of Mexico's least favorite U.S. politician. The images have drawn record crowds. For Mexicans worried about the prospect of a U.S. President Trump, the images can be therapeutic. El Mexicano desahoga. A Mexican person is able to vent their fury and anger by reading these cartoons in the newspapers. It allows them to sadly recognize the problems we are having, not just in the world, but also in our own country. The gallery rotates more than 100 cartoons from Mexico and around the world. There's Trump as Hitler, Trump as the devil, and Trump as a gorilla. That's one of the more flattering ones. The cartoonist couldn't resist his hair. Could NBC Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon. Exhibition visitor Oscar Diaz says it's all in good fun. The way the Mexicans view the world is to joke about it. We even laugh at death. This exhibition is all about making fun of Trump because of the way he has treated us. A September poll here showed Mexicans favor Hillary Clinton over Trump by a margin of 10 to 1. There's even a campaign to register U.S. expats living in Mexico so they can vote against Trump. We think that it's going to have a tremendous impact and that Donald Trump is going to be defeated and defeated uh, tremendously. This man signed up. Because I am against him, simply put, he's a person who will cause much, much damage. Maybe the Mexican people have misunderstood Donald Trump. He says he adores them. I love the Mexican people. I love the spirit of the Mexican people. Judging from the exhibit's popularity, the feeling is in mutual. The exhibition has proven to be so popular that it's going to be extended for an extra month here in Mexico. Once it ends, the gallery will go on a tour of North and South America, including two stops in the United States. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Mexico City.